Hello everyone, this is Lyric and this is my first YouTube video on how to make animated icons for your shop catalog on IMVU. So the first thing that we're going to do is set our background to the size of 100 by 80. You know that's the size that the icons have to be on IMVU. So this is my initial background and you can make the background um, pretty much anything you want so I decided to go with like a grayish metallic background okay so basically I'm going to add a frame and add a picture and show you how to make the picture animated to upload on IMVU client so I'm going to go to file and I'm basically going to open as layer I'm going to find my frame. Let's see here. Um, a lot of you may have questions on how to create a frame, like if you need to go back to it to make sure that it has the transparency. You're going to change this to a ping file to make sure that it doesn't have like the white background. Um, I know some people are trying to make frames that they can come back to and they make the frames and then it still has the background. So you're going to save it as a ping file. And as long as you see the Apple channel here, then you know that it'll be a transparency. Okay, so now I'm going to go to file and find my picture, which is a hair product that I just derived. Let's go down and find that. Okay, this is a cute one. Okay, so as you can see that the image is really huge. So what I'm going to do is click my layer and just put it underneath the frame here so that I can see the frame and how it's going to fit. So I'm going to select my scale tool and I'm going to scale down the image. Not all the way, but just enough where the head kind of fits in the box. Okay, bear with me. And you can get to do these uh, fairly quickly, um, but I do want to take my time so that you see what I'm doing. You don't have to keep, you know, um, rewinding or whatever. Well, I sound really old when I just said that. Rewind. <laughs> Okay, just about there. You want it to fit inside your little frame. Okay, let's widen it up just a bit. Okay, that's about it. Okay. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to go to each layer and we're going to sharpen it so that when you upload it to the client that it shows um, pretty clearly. I know if you've seen some icons that they're kind of blurred, it's because they haven't sharpened the layer. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So we're going to hit filters and we're going to go ahead to uh, enhance, go down to sharpen. And we're going to set it to about 60, 61. There you go. That's pretty good. 61 is pretty good. So you see how it's very clear. But if I set it to 10, you know, 1 is kind of blurry. And then it kind of clears up, if you can see that. I'm going to click OK. And we're going to go to the uh, image that we just overlaid and we're going to do the same thing here filters then enhance down to sharpen and we're going to leave it at 61 
okay you see the difference okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and right click this bottom layer and duplicate it twice so that we have a total of three and we're going to do the same thing for the frame okay and we're just going to move these down uh, one frame per background okay and you'll see why in a second okay so now that we have the picture the size that we want we're going to go to our move tool well before we go to our move tool I'm sorry we're going to duplicate this layer once you duplicate it then you go to the move tool and then you move the picture up just a tad so we're going to stop right here at the eyebrows and then we're going to click on this layer and we're going to duplicate it and we're going to go back to the picture again and we're going to move it up a little further so maybe down to almost the bust line so that you can see where the hair ends okay and the next step we're going to do we're going to take the first picture that we made and we're going to put it on top of the first background take the second picture and put it on top of the second background and we'll leave this third one the same and then we're going to go ahead and right click the top layer and merge down we're going to merge down once more okay that's one animated frame we're going to click on this frame and we're going to merge this down merge down again that's a second animated frame we're going to click on this and merge down and merge down once again so now you should have three total frames and they should be different the head the mid section and the bottom so you have three so we're going to save this as a gif but before we do that we can actually watch the animation to make sure that it runs the way that we want it to so we're going to slow this down because one times is a little fast so we'll slow it down to about 25 I'm going to click play and you'll see that it's animated now you can see the entire hair and it's very clear and so I'm happy with this I'm going to X this out go to file export as and then I'm going to save this I'm just going to save it as brown hair and I'll save it as GIF. You hit export. I'm going to hit crop. You're going to set this as animation. Yes, we do want it to loop. And we're going to just up this to maybe like 400. It could be a little less, but. I'm going to hit export. Okay. Okay. And the only thing you're going to do next is you're going to upload your um, GIF to the client. And as you can see, I've already done that. And then you just click submit to shop and you're done. And that's how you create an animated product on IMVU, well an animated icon for your products on IMVU. Um, this is for hair. You pretty much do the same thing for clothing as well and um, basically if you want to do an animated icon where the picture rotates, you would just take a picture of all three sides, the front, the side, and the back and uh, follow the same steps and you should get the same results. So um, happy creating and I'll see you next time. Bye.